in the United States, two different law enforcement agencies may be working on the same case without consulting one another. An undercover cop from one agency might become the target of a criminal investigation by another agency. Conflicting investigations usually remain hidden from the public eye, except in the matter of Jeffrey Allen Lash, which may be the first case in which the cover was blown of a human-reptilian hybrid working for our own government. For reasons you are about to hear, authorities have not yet made full disclosure in the case of Jeffrey Allen Lash, and most likely never will. Everything that follows must be speculation. At first, the FBI believed they had exposed a gun-running crime family operating out of Pacific Palisades, oddly reminiscent of the Manson family, because at first it appeared that one man was running a string of female confidants. However, the women he controlled were nothing like the teenage drifters caught in a counterculture cesspool at the Spawn Ranch, pressured into acts of violence by Charlie Manson. Instead, they were fashionably dressed, independently wealthy business mavens from the upper crust of society, who up until the death of Mr. Lash had been able to keep secret the fact that they were trafficking in weapons and ammunition. In the summer of 2015, the body of a human reptilian hybrid was recovered by California police in an upscale residential neighborhood. LAPD officers found the man whose name was Jeffrey Allen Lash, sitting lifeless behind the wheel of one of his cars. He was oddly desiccated, almost mummified. His eyes were yellow. A trace on his license plate led the police to his home, a 2,000 square foot condominium valued at $1 million. The rooms in the condo were stacked to the ceiling with crates of brand new handguns and rifles. Also recovered was a quarter million dollars in cash. In the garage, they found an SUV with bulletproof glass, which was also installed with special rubber gaskets so that it could be driven underwater. Police soon learned from his housemate, Catherine Nebron Gorin, that Mr. Lash was a half-breed and that his alien half was from a reptilian water world. In her statement to the authorities, Catherine claimed that Jeffrey was her fiancé. She revealed he was an undercover operator, working for the Defense Intelligence Agency, or the DIA. Jeffrey had given her instructions in the case of his death. She was to don gloves and wrap his body in blankets, incorporated with dry ice. She was to park his car at a predetermined location, where his body would later be retrieved by black ops cleaners. But for some reason his agency was never flagged, and his fiancée felt compelled to notify the LAPD. Before Jeffrey was born, his father, a microbiologist, was working for Dr. Elmer Belt, a pioneer in sex change surgery. Belt was suspected of working secretly in the 1950s, splicing together the DNA of human and alien and creating new life. 
he convinced his lab assistant, Jeffrey's father, to raise the reptilian hybrid baby as his own child. Jeffrey himself confided his true nature to several of his closest female confidants. Like a true amphibian, he was known to despise cooked meat. Rather than dining in, he mostly ate at restaurants, and whether it be buffalo steak or filet mignon, he always requested his meat to be served raw. As the firearm serial numbers were cross-checked one by one, it was discovered that all the weapons had been lawfully obtained. The total came to 1,200 guns, every one of which was properly registered. Mr. Lash was using the money of the women who believed in him, perhaps worshipped him, to amass an arsenal which may have been used to support clandestine American operations in foreign countries. Although it has been rumored that he died of cancer or from complications from chemical exposure during his early career in black operations. The autopsy report from the Los Angeles coroner determined the cause of death to be unknown. Thank you.